So continuing this idea of grounding and looking at the smallest and largest possible values that you can get, depending on what you want to look for, uh, let's say we've got 30 and 560, and both of these numbers have been rounded to the nearest 10. Okay, so I don't know what the original numbers were, but uh, they have now been rounded to the nearest 10, and I've got 30 and 560. So what we've been asked to do is find the largest sum, the smallest product, and the largest difference. So if we look at 30 first, and it's been rounded to the nearest 10, then what we're seeing here is that if it has been rounded to the nearest 10, the number could be anywhere between 25 and 35. Obviously it can't be exactly 35 because then I would have rounded it up to 40. But 34.9 recurring is actually 35. So, you know, I'm not going to go through that, the reasons why that's true, but it could be anywhere between 25 and 35. Okay, we'll leave it at that for the moment, okay? So 560, we've got 550, 560, 570, and my number is anywhere between 555 and 565. Okay? So the smallest, the, the, my first number could have been is 25. And the largest, my second number could have been, would be 565. So if you want to find the largest sum, the sum is adding them both together. So the largest possible sum would be adding the two largest possible ones together. And that would be 35 plus 565. So 35 plus 565 is 600. So that's the largest possible number I could ever have made. Okay. If you're looking for the smallest product, Product means multiplying them together, and the smallest product is going to come from multiplying the two smaller numbers together. So we've got 225 and 555. So I'm not going to do that one on paper or in my head, so I'm going to just do 25 times 555 on my calculator, 13875. So that's the smallest product I could have possibly got. Now, if you're looking for the largest difference, then what we want to do is we want to say to ourselves, okay, well, the largest difference would have come from getting the largest possible number, okay, of the two, 565, and taking away the smallest possible number I could have had of the, the two, which is the 25. And that will give me the largest possible difference. A difference meaning one subtract the other. So 565 take away 25 is 540. So that would be my largest difference. So it is all a case of looking at the two numbers, determining what the smallest and largest of each of them could be, and then answering the problem that is required.